Living in Singapore, I think we've got everything. Different cultures, different beliefs, different races, different kind of people. It's great that Singapore has communities now that support the freedom to love. The attitude is definitely changing. People dare to show and they have the courage to love. Slowly, but surely, more and more people are more accepting. We should embrace and celebrate our differences. My first time attending Pindok was 2009. I attended the one last year, 2013. I've been to the last three years, 2010, 2011, 2012. I remember the year we had the helicopter with the Singapore flag flying past. It was like a happy national day. I literally had tears in my eyes. I went to Pink Dot with my uncle and my auntie. I went down with my sister as well as my mum. When they are there, it affirms the acceptance of me. I want my sons, who are both gay, to be happy and to live fulfilled lives. I want my mum to accept me as a transgender. To be included and not just being cast out. I would wish for people to stop judging and stop asking why why we are gay because actually we are just born this way. If I could, I want bullying to stop because I went through it. It's hurtful. It leaves a scar. And you lose your self-confidence and your self-esteem and your self-worth very quickly if you're being bullied or if you're being called names. If everyone can be more tolerant, then less of us would be hurt. I want to find love. Someone who's always there for me during my good times and my bad times. To be able to bring my own uh, boyfriend or partner home. We've been together for six years. Eight years. Eight years. We've been together for 17 years. I wish one day we'd actually move in and stay together. I would love to share a place with my future partner. Um, it doesn't have to be big. Baby always uh, wanted a high floor. Uh, <laughs> so it has got to be a penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to live in a society that's fair so that uh, LGBT families and friends can consider coming back home. I want my cousin to feel like this is a different place than the one that she left. This is a group that is still receiving a lot of uh, rejection by a majority of our people. But there will be people like us Families like us who believe that you deserve to be loved just like anyone else. All of us should really love them, appreciate them. This is who they are and this is what they are. If you are going to shove people aside because of their differences, then Singapore is not going to be a very nice place to live in. This year, I really want to go to show my support to my friend who I have secretly been supporting all this while. Even if you don't have a relative who is LGBT, just go and be supportive. I believe that when we come together, it's powerful. And I believe that 21,000 people last year was extremely powerful. It's really great to see how Pink Dot has come and go far. I've seen it grow bigger and bigger and hotter and settier. We could not have imagined 20,000 people gathering, supporting us. It's completely inspiring to be part of that. When I saw everyone putting their lights to the sky, I really felt the whole park and the thousands of people there really bonding and coming together. I wish my mom would come with me to Pink Dot for just one time. Because I, I, I honestly believe it, it might change her mind.